In this video, I'll discuss the different new model initialization options in SAP 2000. These include initialize model from save settings, from an existing file, or from default settings. Many users deal with the pain of having to repopulate initial models with data that they use frequently. These three options allow the user to save quite a bit of time. Let's start with the save settings option. When this is selected, you have the ability to save display units, preferences, properties, and definitions. So let me show you how. Under the options menu, you go to save model settings. This method is generally preferable if sets of properties, analyses, and design definitions are to be used among projects with common characteristics. So you can save as many SDBI files as necessary under the existing model settings. For example, if you go to the define menu, you can set as many different section properties as you like. You can see this model is populated with a few W8, W10, and W12 sections. Under load patterns, you can see dead, live, quake, and wind loads have been defined. Also under load combinations, you can see there are 12 predefined load combinations in this model that have been saved. Now, if we open another model using the initial model from save settings, I'm going to click on this curve trust properties, which is the model we just looked at. Now, if I click on any other template, click OK. Let's check to see if all the properties were included. We go to define section properties. All the W8s, 10s, and 12s are now included. We can also take a look at the load patterns and combinations to ensure uh, those were included as well. Next, let's take a look at initializing a model from an existing file. How does initialize model from an existing file differ from initializing a model from save settings? The main difference between the two options are the SDBI file created by the Save Settings option cannot be changed, while the EDB file using the existing file option can be changed. So perhaps it's a good idea to use SDBI files as a reference instead of reusing EDB files that may have accidentally been changed. One important note to remember is when using an existing model as a starting point for a new model, it's not importing. That is a different function altogether. Basing a new model on an existing model means that definitions and settings are being shared from one model to another. This differs from importing a model because an imported model can include objects and their assignments. Lastly, let's talk about the initialize model from default settings option. This option includes the display units, the preferences, the properties, and definitions. Let me show you where this is located. So under the options, set program default display units, you have the ability to make updates to units, decimal places, as well as tolerances for structural dimensions, section dimensions, displacements, perhaps forces, stresses, and stiffnesses. Any changes here can be saved and used for future models.